as we're heading on through the evening, if you have any outdoor plans or if you need to make some, you're going to be greeted with fantastic conditions. By 9 o'clock, we're still in the low to mid 70s. Pretty clear skies overnight. By 11 o'clock, we're in the upper 60s. And we should see temperatures tomorrow drop back down into the 50s. So it's what I'm calling a comfortably cool start to the day again. But we do start to shift things around this weekend. And temperatures both Saturday and Sunday are expected to get into the 80s. Lots of sunshine around for your Saturday and Sunday more clouds around, but temperatures getting into the mid 80s and we're turning noticeably more humid. But I say that with the preface that is not going to be like what we had early this week. The humidity will start to rise, get a little uncomfortable, but it won't be as oppressive. Of course, we have the Brickyard 400 on Sunday when gates open at 10 o'clock, lower 70s when that green flag waves at 2:30, right around 80 and when gates close at 6 temperatures right around 83 degrees. We are dry through the weekend. We're going to bring back rain chances on into early next week, but even with Monday, they're going to be pretty minimal. I'd say widely scattered in nature with better rain chances as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. As our rain chances increase, our humidity is increasing as well, so it's just going to continue to climb as we head from now on into the middle of next week as dew point temperatures I'd say by Wednesday of next week should be right around 70. That's going to be back to more of that tropical feel. But again, it's still not going to be as high as those dew point temperatures were early this week. So it's certainly going to get sticky out there, but it has been recently much worse. 79 is where we'll see a high today. 83 tomorrow and 85 on Sunday. We'll keep the 85 around for Monday as well with active rain chances as we head throughout next week and those more humid conditions. Too.